morning, my friends. I hope you're all doing great this morning. You know, we've discussed communication all week. And I thought I would wrap up the week of talking about talking with a a message about when to keep your mouth shut. You know, it's just as important to know when to be quiet as it is when to know when to speak your truth. The unfortunate truth of the matter is that most people don't know when to close their mouths. I've got seven times when it's best to be quiet rather than speak. And here we go. Number one, when you think you've got to get someone told. You know, the times when you know what they need better than they do. And the truth is, is they probably won't hear what you have to say because of, first, the way you come across. Second, they've made up their mind what they're going to do. And third, they don't care what your opinion is. This is a perfect time to be quiet. Number two, when you're about to gossip, when you want to say something negative about someone behind their back, don't. Just don't. There's never a good reason to do this. It makes you look petty, childish, and mean-spirited. And it might get back to the person you're slandering. You might need to discuss it with someone, but discussing what they've done with someone is different than gossip because sometimes someone might do something truly terrible And you might need to discuss it to decide what course of action to take to help them. Number three, when the deal isn't quite done, when it's not quite complete, look at that old adage about counting your chickens before they've hatched. If you're making a deal of some kind, never announce it until everybody signed on the dotted line and everything is airtight and complete. You'll feel pretty stupid if things fall through as they often do. Number four, when you're mad is a great time to be quiet. When someone annoys you, don't respond right away as you're likely to blow up and or say something that you will regret and you can't take it back. Even if you apologize, people will not forget. You're weak when you're angry. Don't act in a moment of weakness. Even if they're wrong and you're right, you won't come out looking good. Number five, when you're about to ask a question that isn't a question. If you're sitting in a meeting, which happens to me quite often, it's about to wrap up and you find yourself raising your hand to say something like, So we're going to use our core competency, reach out, ride the fast lane, move the needle until we shift the paradigm. (laughs) Don't do it. You're, You're not asking an actual question. You're spewing corporate jargon so that other people will know that you're in the room and they will hate you for it because they want the meeting to end and get back to what they really need to do in their real job. If you have a real question, ask it. But if you don't, it's a great time to keep your mouth shut. Number six, when you're about to complain. It's hot. You have too much work. Something stinks. The project is boring. It all probably is true. But keep it to yourself because nobody likes a whiner. Get done and get on with it. Number seven. When you're about to talk, just to fill the silence. We've all seen people that love to hear themselves talk. And what is the consensus about those people? It's not good, is it? Is that what you want others to think of you? Yes, silence can be awkward. But there are a couple reasons why you shouldn't necessarily rush to fill it. The first is that Some people just like to think before they speak. And art is freaked out by the pauses as others. So when you jump in to actually fill the void, you're cutting off their thought process. Way to be. And make sure they're not preparing to speak. 
Another reason is that if you're both uncomfortable with the silence, sometimes you can learn a lot by letting the other person fill it. As we often tend to overshare when we want to impress or overcome any sort of awkwardness, the most important reason to leave that space for others to talk is that you can't learn anything if your mouth is moving. Again, you can't learn anything if you're talking. I hope this has been of value to you and you'll share it with your friends. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Next week, we'll discuss minding your own business. <laughs> this should be pretty awesome. I love y'all. Take care. Mike out.